the universe began. The most generally perceived explanation has been something many allude to as the hypothesis of how things came to be. Numerous assessments, furthermore, the crafted works of large numbers of specialists support this thought, giving confirmation about how the universe started. In any case, in the current universe of science, new technology brings us novel contemplations and perspectives. These contemplations challenge our past suspicions. Neil deGrasse Tyson has become a critical voice in this advancing universe of science. Now, something exciting is going on with the James Webb Space Telescope. It's critical, something that could make us question the hypothesis of the ancient Big Bang. The James Webb Space Telescope has found 750 new universes. These universes are not what we expected, driving us to rethink what we thought we knew about them. This telescope was designed to assist us with grasping how universes became, so it's not surprising that it's shaking up how we interpret the universe. In the past, analysts said that the Big Bang theory was the best explanation for how the universe started. According to this theory, around 13.7 billion years ago, the universe appeared through a strange cosmic event, much like the dramatic story of the universe's introduction to the world. However, the photos from the James Webb Space Telescope have challenged this idea. These pictures show universes that are smaller, smoother, or older than what the theory predicts. According to the hypothesis, as the universe expands, galaxies should look bigger the farther away they are. However, these immense systems don't follow that rule. The speculation likewise states that, at the beginning of the universe, all the stuff that makes up the universe was packed into a little, super-dense point called a singularity. This singularity was marvelously hot, hotter than anything we might measure or create. This thought of a singularity comes from a set of conditions in physics proposed by Albert Einstein called general relativity. Inside the singularity, all the stuff in the universe was compacted into a minuscule space with incredibly high density, meaning there was a gigantic measure of mass and energy pressed into a little space. In simpler terms, analysts have consistently said the hypothesis of the universe's starting point was the secret of how the universe began. But at this point, these new pictures from the James Webb Space Telescope are making us question that idea. The universes it found don't fit with what the hypothesis expected, and the speculation explanation of the early universe may not be just about as certain as we once thought. In our current comprehension of the universe, we accept that all the energy in the universe started from an exceptionally hot and very thick point called a singularity. This singularity serves as the starting point for all that we track down in the universe today. After this singularity, the universe began to grow and evolve over around 13.7 billion years to become what it is today. The expansion started with something many refer to as cosmic inflation, where the universe grew incredibly rapidly, quicker than the speed of light. It's as though the very fabric of space itself was expanding, and all that was in it was extending alongside it. This galactic development helped shape the universe by making things more uniform and setting the stage for worlds, stars, and other massive structures to form. As the universe continued to develop, it didn't grow as quickly as during cosmic inflation. However, it still continued to get bigger. We call this consistent improvement cosmic expansion. Analysts have seen evidence of this development through things like the way light from far-off systems changes color, known as redshift. Now we ought to talk about those astounding pictures of new universes taken by the James Webb Space Telescope. To the vast majority, these photographs look stunning with numerous worlds in a single frame. Yet for scientists, it's somewhat of a shock. These photos don't match what their speculations anticipated. Regardless of anything else, these worlds are a lot surprisingly old. This challenges our understanding of how worlds form and evolve. As indicated by the hypothesis of the universe's starting point, there are definitely more universes than we expected. The hypothesis of the Big Bang made forecasts about the quantity of worlds there should be and how they ought to be distributed. However, the James Webb Space Telescope pictures show some more universes than anticipated. This makes specialists question whether the hypothesis forecasts are accurate. Some specialists are in any event beginning to overreact a bit, given that these disclosures don't match their presumptions at all. Another amazing aspect of these new universes is their perfection, which clashes with what the hypothesis of how things came to be proposes. As per the speculation, universes ought to show anomalies and varieties in their designs due to how they formed and developed. 
However, the pictures from the James Webb Space Telescope show systems that are bizarrely smooth, lacking the normal intricacy and roughness expected during the development of the universe. Everything that makes up our universe was packed into a little space. As the universe extended and cooled, changes happened, and particles like protons, neutrons, and electrons began to interact with light and energy around them. These interactions played a critical role in shaping the development of matter in the universe in the initial minutes after the Big Bang. There was an interaction called nucleosynthesis, which involved the formation of light elements like hydrogen and helium. These elements set the stage for the formation of stars, galaxies, and beyond. As grandiose history unfolded, this blend of fundamental building blocks was a critical stage in the universe's development, advancing from an early-stage ocean of particles and energy to a state where matter began to coalesce. The Big Bang Theory had anticipated seeing universes that were tumultuous and chaotic due to various influences. However, the James Webb Space Telescope pictures tell a different story. Instead of violent and chaotic galaxies, the photographs reveal smooth disks and systematic swirling shapes resembling the world seen in the modern universe. This astonishing finding challenges the thought that collisions are a common piece of galaxy development. Assuming that there are few or no collisions happening in these universes, as proposed by the hypothesis of the universe's starting point, it becomes improbable that small galaxies could evolve into much larger ones. Also, the optical illusion anticipated by the expanding universe hypothesis, where objects seem smaller with increasing distance due to expansion, doesn't appear to hold. Space experts have noticed a striking pattern where galaxies tend to gather in huge clusters, forming complex organizations across the universe. This observed large-scale structure aligns with the expectations made by the hypothesis of the Big Bang. According to the speculation, the universe began in a very hot and thick state and then gradually expanded and cooled over time. As the universe expanded, Gravity assumed a crucial role in shaping how matter was distributed and in forming galaxies. The gravitational effects anticipated by the hypothesis of the Big Bang are consistent with what we see today, with gravity arranging matter, leading to the clustering of galaxies and the development of interconnected filamentary structures known as the cosmic web. The presence of these galaxy clusters and the cosmic web structure strongly supports the hypothesis of the Big Bang. How galaxies are distributed across the universe aligns with the gravitational effects expected from the initial dense and expanding state proposed by the speculation. These factors, including the clustering of galaxies, the cosmic web structure, and the distribution of galaxy clusters, provide strong evidence that the universe evolved from an exceptionally dense state and has been expanding for billions of years. Now we should return to the size of the worlds found by the James Webb Space Telescope. These photos contradict what we assumed we knew about the hypothesis of the universe's starting point. According to the hypothesis, small galaxies ought to evolve and grow through collisions and mergers with other galaxies. However, observations made by the James Webb Space Telescope feel somewhat uncertain on this thought. If galaxies were colliding and merging as expected, we would see proof of these impacts or engravings in the surrounding universes. However, the pictures show otherwise. So is the hypothesis of the Big Bang simply a thought without confirmation? No, it is indeed backed by undeniable evidence, including observations of the redshift of light from far-off galaxies, which offer support for the expanding universe speculation. Observations showing galaxies receding from one another in all directions suggest consistent expansion, as expected by the speculation. The abundance of light elements like hydrogen and helium found throughout the universe is also consistent with the predictions of the Big Bang Theory. Additionally, the large-scale distribution of galaxies uncovered through cosmic surveys matches the patterns anticipated by the theory of primordial cosmic detonation. Quite possibly one of the most critical bits of proof for the theory of primordial cosmic detonation is the discovery of the cosmic microwave background, CMB. The CMB is a weak radiation that fills the entire universe and represents the afterglow of the Big Bang. This radiation, first detected in 1965, closely aligns with the predictions made by the hypothesis of how things came to be. The noticed attributes of the CMB, including its consistency and temperature distribution, strongly support the possibility that the universe was once in an exceptionally hot and dense state before undergoing expansion a central tenet of the hypothesis of the universe's starting point. 
The discovery of the cosmic microwave background is a pivotal piece of evidence that provides us a unique insight into the early moments of the universe. It serves as a resonance of the initial stages following the Big Bang and has played a fundamental role in establishing the hypothesis of the universe's starting point as our best explanation for the origins of the universe. However, late revelations have tested several aspects of the theory of how things came to be. The presence of galaxies with ages that appear to predate the Big Bang contradicts the hypothesis' central premise, suggesting that the Big Bang may not have occurred as initially suspected and that everything may not have started from it. Defenders of the Big Bang hypothesis had guessed that as the James Webb Space Telescope looked further into space and back in time, the number of visible galaxies would decline, eventually leading to an endless dark age. However, late research shows that even a couple of hundred million years after the supposed Big Bang, galaxies as massive as our Milky Way were common. The James Webb Space Telescope pictures reveal a much larger overflow of massive galaxies at redshifts greater than 10 than what researchers had expected, challenging the legitimacy of the hypothesis of how things came to be. Additionally, the hypothesis of how things came to be is associated with 16 incorrect predictions in the current body of scientific literature, with only one accurate prediction regarding the abundance of deuterium, a type of hydrogen. Some of these erroneous predictions include estimates of helium abundance, which are off by a factor of 2, and predictions for the abundance of lithium, which are off by a factor of 20. The hypothesis also fails to explain various anomalies, such as the absence of the expected illusion where objects should appear smaller with increasing distance. These abnormalities raise concerns about the validity of the hypothesis of how things came to be. By focusing on the colors of distant galaxies in the infrared part of the spectrum, space experts can estimate the ages of the stars within these systems. Some of these galaxies appear to have stellar populations that are over a billion years old, contradicting the hypothesis assertion that nothing should have formed before the Big Bang. Notwithstanding these significant disparities, it's important to note that the potential breakdown of the Big Bang hypothesis hasn't received widespread attention in major media outlets. The lack of widespread awareness of recent challenges to the Big Bang theory can be attributed to what's known as the Emperor's New Clothes effect, where scrutinizing the hypothesis often leads to scientists being criticized or labeled as clueless, which can deter further exploration of alternative theories. The cyclic universe model, in particular, could help explain the new galaxies that have been identified. These galaxies might be part of another cycle that we have observed. However, noting that is essential, these alternative hypotheses have their own complexities and challenges, and the academic community continues to research and discuss these ideas. The quest for knowledge and understanding in cosmology involves ongoing investigation and consideration of various hypotheses, and open discussions are vital for advancing our comprehension as we delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe. The instruments we use to explore it become increasingly complex. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its advanced capabilities, offers a new lens through which to view the universe, shedding light on aspects of cosmic development and evolution that were previously shrouded in mystery. One of the key advancements brought by Webb is its ability to observe galaxies at different evolutionary stages and at various moments, providing a more nuanced perspective on their life cycles. Ongoing observations suggest that the early universe might have been more complex than the theory of how things came to be initially proposed. For example, Webb data demonstrate that some of the newly discovered galaxies appear to have formed significantly sooner than anticipated, testing our understanding of cosmic timelines. This evidence pushes the boundaries of current models and forces specialists to consider alternative explanations for these discoveries. Another captivating perspective is the potential for early-stage black holes. These hypothetical objects, which could have formed in the early universe, may help explain some of the unexpected attributes observed in distant galaxies. If these black holes are present, they could significantly impact the formation and evolution of galaxies, bringing new variables into how we understand cosmic development. The increased resolution of Webb's observations also allows scientists to study the formation of stars and planetary systems in exquisite detail. By examining the light from these distant stars and the surrounding gas and dust, researchers can gain insights into the processes that govern star formation and the emergence of planetary systems. This information is crucial for understanding how conditions for life could arise in different parts of the universe. Throughout the history of science, people have made deliberate efforts to grasp the beginnings of the universe. 
One of the most generally accepted explanations has been named the hypothesis of how things came to be. This hypothesis has earned significant support from various investigations and the enthusiastic work of thousands of analysts, providing an abundance of proof regarding the universe's origins. In the present scientific landscape, however, new advances are presenting original thoughts and perspectives that challenge long-held beliefs. Neil deGrasse Tyson has emerged as a significant voice in this evolving field, contributing to the ongoing discourse. An especially exciting development is the James Webb Space Telescope, which has yielded surprising discoveries that could provoke a re-examination of the hypothesis of ancient astronomical explosion. The telescope has identified 750 new cosmic systems, which vary significantly from past assumptions, prompting researchers to reevaluate what they thought they knew. The design of this telescope aims to enhance our understanding of how universes formed, making it clear that its discoveries are reshaping our understandings of the universe. Overall, specialists stated that the Big Bang speculation gave the best explanation for the universe's beginning. According to this hypothesis, around 13.7 billion years ago, the universe rose out of a puzzling cosmic event likened to a dramatic birth. However, the pictures kept captured by the James Webb Space Telescope challenge this thought. They reveal cosmic systems that are smaller, smoother, older, and many other differences from what the hypothesis anticipated. The theory of primordial cosmic detonation places that as the universe grows, cosmic systems ought to show up bigger the farther away they are. Yet the newfound cosmic systems challenge this standard, prompting further inquiries. The hypothesis additionally states that at the universe's origin, all matter was packed into an extraordinarily thick point known as a singularity. This singularity was extremely hot, far hotter than any circumstances we can duplicate or measure today. The concept of the singularity is founded in Einstein's overall relativity, which describes how all matter in the universe was compacted into a minute space with colossal density, resulting in a tremendous amount of mass and energy concentrated in a small volume. In more straightforward terms, researchers have generally attested that the hypothesis of the universe's starting point explains how the universe started. However, the new information from the James Webb Space Telescope prompts a reassessment of this thought. The characteristics of the universe as it found don't align with the expectations of the hypothesis, suggesting that our understanding of the early universe may not be as conclusive as previously accepted. Presently, it is acknowledged that all the energy in the universe originated from this hot, thick singularity. This singularity serves as the foundation for all that we observe today. Following this initial state, the universe began to expand and evolve over the course of billions of years, gradually becoming what it is now. This development is believed to have started with an event referred to as cosmic inflation, during which the universe expanded at an astonishing rate, even surpassing the speed of light. It was as if the very fabric of space itself was extending, with everything inside it growing alongside. 